Hi everyone, I'm Francis with Fluval. And you know, talking to colleagues and other aquarists, hobbyists, I always get the question about, well, aquacultured fish. If you look at these beautiful freshwater aquariums behind me, the vast majority of all the fish in here are captive raised, either here in North America or in farms overseas. Now there are always uh, some exceptions to the rule. For example, cardinal tetras are still frequently caught from the wild. But overall, generally speaking, most freshwater fish are captive raised. Now you go over and look at our beautiful M aquariums here and it's the exact opposite because the vast majority of marine fish are all wild caught. There are definitely exceptions, for example, more and more clownfish are being raised in captivity, um, but most species of, of marine fish are wild caught. And you know, how can we, we change this? Well, it's for the consumer to really um, effect change. And you can do this by asking for captive raised fish and will it be willing to pay the premium to purchase captive raised fish. Now, the reason why there are fewer um, captive raised fish available than in freshwater is, well, just the biology of uh, a saltwater fish. Oftentimes, they go through what's called a pelagic larval stage, and this makes them extremely difficult to raise in captivity. However, um, technology has advanced and we are now able to raise more and more different species. In addition to just clownfish and damselfish, now you see various species of blenny, dragonettes, even some angelfish are being uh, produced commercially and, and sold to um, hobbyists like you. Buying a captive raised fish, besides helping the environment, you also get a fish that is often more suited to life in the aquarium. And that's because, well, they have been raised on synthetic sea salt and have been fed, you know, commercially available uh, flake food, just like the fluval food. So they do much better long term. But at the end of the day, the consumer like you has to be willing to pay that premium to get a captive raised fish. So these are my thoughts and I'd love to hear yours. Please comment on this video and for more information and great content, visit FluvalAquatics.com.